She's not here, obviously, and uh, take us through what it's like, because I know you're a new father yourself. What's that moment like? What's DC going through? Man, that's the realest thing I've ever been through in my life, man. You know, out here, this, this is just a game. You know, there's bigger things in life, like having a child. And if anyone understands what he's going through, it's me, because I was just there five months ago. My son's uh, five and a half months, like 22 pounds. He's pretty big, but... Uh, <laughs> That's the, the, the biggest blessing anyone could ever ask for in life. And our prayers are with him. Was DC all geeked up about you know heading up to this, obviously, on Baby Watch? And was he kind of chatting up a little bit on the field, obviously working on football, but also talking to family? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Because, uh, you know, DC is the type of guy that I'm sure he's hating that he's not out here right now, even though he's got what he's got going on right now. And I can relate to that. It was. It's tough because you feel kind of torn. I mean, as crazy as it sounds, you know, because this is like our family as well. So. Uh, I mean, I, I know where he's coming from, though, because I'm sure he's feeling he's feeling bad not, about, about not being here, but, you know, he's got to take care of his wife and his child. Sure. Uh, with Derek out today, it gave the team an opportunity to see some of the backups, obviously, the question of who's going to back up Derek. Without kind of seeing who the favorite, as a group, what did you see from, from the three guys out there and what they had to do? I saw a lot of good things, actually. I was, uh, it, was, it was good. It was uh, What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's relieving, I guess, because I, I know now that we have guys that can step in when something like this happens, when, when life, you know, when life happens, when DC can't be here. So a lot of good things. I mean, they they're not working with the ones, so our timing isn't right where it needs to be. But I saw a lot of good things. Coach Ram to talk about, you know, the guy that's going to back up there doesn't necessarily need to win the game, but he can't lose the game for you guys. And you guys have a lot of weapons. I mean, yourself, you know, you got 88 there now, and you got that great wide receiving core. I know you're still trying to figure out a running back, but how much pressure do you think these backups are to, man, I don't want to mess this up because I have so many weapons out there? Uh, everybody's under a lot of pressure. I mean, you know, we're – there's a there's a lot of hype around our team this year, but we're not buying into that. We're buying into each other. We're just coming out here. Everybody's got something they need to work on, myself included, Devontae included, Isaiah Burris, Harper. Everybody's got something they need to get better at. And it's our job to bring these young guys along, to bring the, the backups along, and make sure that if I'm, not, if I'm not able to go, if I roll an ankle or something, that Riley Barnes can step in and handle it, or Jeremy McClendon can step in and, and get the job done. All right. One more question as we head into the full patch tomorrow, two days coming up on Wednesday is one of the leaders and upperclassmen. How much are you looking forward to, to improving the next couple of days? Man, camp is, you know, camp is the, the biggest grind we go through football wise for the, the whole year. But it's, it's the best part because we it's the best part of this whole process because we really come together as a family. And I'm just I'm, I'm just really pumped for us to come out here and get these opportunities. I get to go against one. I, I think it's one of the best defenses in the country. And, I'm just, I'm really excited for the season and it's going to be a great uh, turnout. All right. So appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot.